Juju Smith-Schuster, also defending Roethlisberger on Twitter, tweeting, I was so blessed to enter the league and play with a Hall of Fame quarterback as a 20-year-old. Ben has taught me so much. He's a true leader, and I can't wait to rock with my guy this season. The departed Antonio Brown, Ooh. meanwhile, saw that and had a follow-up. He tweeted, do not listen to any NFL player who hasn't gotten paid yet. They will do and say anything to make sure they're going to get paid, even if it's compromising integrity or anything sad but true. So that, there seems very little question. Mm. He aimed that in the direction of his now former teammate. What do you make of all of this? All right, first of all, three things. One, A.B.'s right. Players more often than not need to conform and fall in line because – at the end of the day, you got to keep the end game in your mind. That's to go get paid and make your money. So AB's point is right. Number two, it's a great example of Mike Tomlin and leadership. Mike Tomlin making it about, listen, we all have to be better, not because of what other people say, but we were 9-6-1. and one. We have to be a better football team. Look at how he's handling it to compare it to, like, John Mara of the Giants, who can't stop talking about Odell, where Mike Tomlin's going – I'm not talking about anybody else that's not here. We're, gonna, we're moving forward. And then three, if you're Juju Smith-Schuster, who are you going to tie yourself to? Who are you, you going to tie yourself to? A.B., who's become a spectacle in many ways, or your quarterback, you know, who's, who's going to feed you the ball. So A.B., he's right. Tomlin, great leadership. Juju, you're tying your wagon to the right guy. I, I would say this. Not only does, is Juju tying his wagon to the right guy, he's tying his wagon to the guy who matters most to him. I remember having this conversation with Michael Irvin, who was in the Hall of Fame as a wide receiver, because there were some people around the Cowboys back in their heyday in the 90s that thought that maybe Troy Aikman wasn't always the most well-liked guy in that locker room. I don't know that for certain. And I asked Irvin about it, and he said to me, that's my quarterback. Yeah. You don't mess with the quarterback. <laughs> yeah. As a receiver, no you don't mess with the quarterback, because that's the guy who put Michael Irvin in the Hall of Fame. That's the guy who put Michael Irvin's kids in private school, okay? Yeah. So you don't mess with the quarterback. If you're Juju Smith-Schuster, Ben Roethlisberger is going to be your best friend. You know, you mentioned A.B. being a little bit of a spectacle at this point. Why is he even still tweeting about this stuff? Like, that, he has yeah, a new team. It, he has a new, I don't understand It's like the guy who it. broke up with a girl and then continues to follow her on social media to check out what and she's like, doing, tweet you know? at her. Yeah, it's like <laughs> you moved on. You made your choice. You forced your way out. Right. It, it's done and, and over with. And that's why Mike Tomlin's doing, it, doing a great job. That's why they've been who they've been, the Steelers. And that's why they're in good hands. We're, I'm not talking about that anymore. They're, those guys have moved on. I'm going to talk about the guys who are here and, and how we have to get better as a team. Super quick, because we have to move on. Do you think John Gruden will at some point say to Antonio Brown, mm -hmm. let's stop commenting on all the things that happened in Pittsburgh? No, because at the end of the day, A.B.'s making way more than John Gruden, and that's a lot to say. <laughs> well, but A.B. Gruden's making $100 hundred million, right. And A.B.'s making 20-something. You know, it's Ooh. like I, you can try, but once those guys become empowered by that, it's, it's a train you can't slow down.